I get pulled over by a guy, it's always different. Well, going through a small town, and some guy say something to me like, hey, man, why were you speeding? I say, because your ass was hiding. If you wouldn't have been hiding, I wouldn't have been speeding. <laughs> <laughs> Self-explanatory. You a cop, you should know. You know what I'm <laughs> Then he might say something to me if I get pulled over, you know, like, hey, what? Where you headed? Uh, do you know why I pulled you over tonight? Absolutely, you've seen eyes and teeth. Now you know I'm human, see you later. <laughs> they might give me a ticket or give me a warning to send me on my way, you know? It's different when you're dealing with a woman, because women are different all the way around the board, okay? First of all, I was taught by my mom, okay, and my wife, and a few other women in my life, that women are important. I don't give a shit. They're important, and they're the most beautiful creature that God created, they got special powers. Yes, I hear a star clap. Clap for that if you're a confident woman. And if you're a guy that want to get laid, you'll clap for some shit like that, okay? You should not have no black man come in here and let your wife hear she's beautiful for me for the day, okay? You should have told her that shit earlier when you was begging for whatever it is you was begging for. You was begging for the draws too? You're not even married and you're begging for the draws? Leave her. Now, women, I just wanted you guys to know that you're beautiful creatures and all that other stuff, and that's the truth. Now, I was hanging out with my dog, Rex, okay? My four-legged friend. Yes, my dog, sweetheart. I'm not talking swing right now. When I get off stage, we can talk swing. But I wouldn't say that to you because you don't really know you. Look like you know too much swing. My dog, Rex, is a boxer. He's about yay high, but he smokes pot. I'm being honest with you, man. Me and my dog Rex was sitting in the garage getting high as giraffe legs. You fill in the blanks. And we started talking about, you know, life. You know, there's just a lot of shit was on our mind. And he looked up at me and he said, hey man, listen, I want you to do me a favor, okay? I do you a lot of favors. I go fetch shit for you. What is, what, what, what's going on? Why'd you cover his mouth? He gets thrown with his dog too or what? Yeah, he's a good guy. Don't judge us, okay? She's looking like, how could you do that to your animal? I'm calling Peter. You sound like my wife. I'm going to tell you what I tell her. If you follow me around all day, sweetheart, you'll walk into a cloud of smoke, too. So he looks up at me and he says, hey, man, look, you know, we should go take a ride. I want to look at the female dogs. How come I never get to look at the bitches that slam the female dogs? I'm going to keep you together. So he can stay with me. So I said, I don't know, man. Let's go for it. So I figured I'd give him a ride so he could take a cruise for the women because I'm a married man. He don't get none, you know. I feel sorry for my dog. He just don't get laid, you know. So I took him around driving. Before I can realize that this was a bad idea, I'm on the goddamn highway in a carpool lane. You guys know what a carpool lane is, right? Holy Cross, they didn't know what a carpool lane was. The carpool lane is a lane where you drive in, you gotta have two or more passengers, okay? Now listen, my high ass is driving in the carpool lane with my goddamn dog. And I get pulled over by a woman state trooper. I didn't know what the hell was going on, man. I was pissed off. I let my damn dog convince me to get in the goddamn car and take him for a ride. When I could have put the collar on his neck and made him walk. But at this point, I'm sitting there pulled over and the woman's walking up to my vehicle and I got my license and registration at the window because in my neck of the woods, we were taught, have your license and registration at the window if you got the shit. You might pull out the wrong thing. One time I pulled out a joint and I said, holy shit, I got this from Cedar Rapids. Here you go. No, but I'm holding my license and registration at the window and it's a woman state trooper. She gets out her vehicle and she's walking up to my vehicle, you know, and I didn't say nothing to her. I'm just sitting there, and she comes up to my vehicle, and she snatches my license and registration, and she walks back to her car without saying anything. She didn't say, how you doing, why are you speeding, or what's going on. She just snatched my stuff, and she took off walking. That was fine with me. I didn't have a problem with that because I'm married. Sometimes women go through things. I understand that, like psycho, you know, anything like that. It can be, you guys can be in a heated argument, okay? If I get caught in that crossfire, and I'm talking about that invisible bullet, I can bleed out, okay? That's what I was taught. You never piss a woman off, all right? Flat out. So it didn't mean nothing to me that she snatched my goddamn license and registration. Maybe it was just a bad day for her. Just let me go, please. Now she's in a vehicle, 
And now me and my dog is sitting in the car for about 15 minutes, and I start to think, like, holy shit, what's going on here? It's 15 minutes. I don't understand. I got extremely nervous. I start talking to this guy again. I said, hey, man, check this out. <laughs> Usually when you sit in the car for 15 minutes, they're calling somebody. And when they're calling somebody, they're not coming to throw your slumber party. Guess what? They're coming to lock your ass out. <laughs> so this is what I need you to do. I need you to call my wife, tell her to come get me. I'm going to come get you. We're going to go to PetSmart and we're going to get some doggy treats. <laughs> Master looked at me and said, hey. I figured he knew what I was talking about. <laughs> now the woman's walking back towards the vehicle and I can tell the way she's walking. She wanted to get something off her chest. I'm open her bra, but not even close. <laughs> she comes to the vehicle and she throws a ticket in my lap and before I can even look at the ticket, she started losing her goddamn mind. What the hell is wrong with you? Riding in a carpool lane when you're supposed to have two passengers when you ride in a carpool lane. As a matter of fact, why are men cheating with co-workers? Why do I have to cook dinner every night? Why isn't he taking the trash out or helping Susan with her homework or taking Timothy to basketball practice? Why are men cheating with co-workers? You know what? All men are dogs, okay? All you bastards are dogs. Now when she said that, I glanced at my ticket. And I see my ticket was $350. Once I see my ticket was $350, I didn't give a shit about a woman's emotions, that time of the month, what she's going through. I looked at her and said, what the hell is wrong with you for giving me a ticket for $350, God damn it! She said, because you was riding in the carpool lane and you're supposed to have two passengers when you're riding in the carpool lane. I said, oh yeah? Well, last time I checked, all men are dogs. And there's two of us in here, God damn it. <laughs> That's my time. You've been a wonderful crowd. Enjoy the rest of the show. Kevin Graff, one more time, guys.